Hello everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk about the iPhone 11 and what I wanted to do today is kind of compare it with the iPhone 16 just to see what 5 generations is and I still wanted to talk about how iPhone 11 still handles in 2024. Now let's start with the design itself. Both of these are 6.1 inch screen. As you can see the iPhone 11 does have a little bit bigger bezel. So screen to body ratio definitely ended up getting improved after five generations. But uh, let's talk about the rest of the uh, design. On the bottom, we have the lighting port and then we have stereo speakers. On this side, we have the physical SIM card slot, power lock button, and then on this side, we have the mute switch and the volume rockers. Behind the phone, we have dual cameras. I ended up getting this in the product red. Absolutely love this color. I wish they were still doing uh, product red. Now, when it comes to the iPhone 16, what is the difference, at least when it comes to design? One of the differences is the USB-C on the bottom. It still has, has those stereo speakers. Then we have the new camera button. So with this button, you can open up camera. You can even do zoom in and zoom out. And then rest of it is pretty much the same. We have power lock button. And then on this side, we have volume controls. And almost forgot, we have the new action button. Now, with this button, you can customize it. You can end up doing different things. So, for example, you can set it up where you can end up muting the phone. If you hold it, you can end up doing the mute. Uh, so, on the iPhone 11, that's all it does is mute. But with this one, you can also end up opening up flashlight and stuff like that. I think the funny thing is the iPhone 16 ended up changing the cameras to the vertical from the previous iPhone 15, which was kind of horizontal. Um, and now it looks pretty much the same with the iPhone 11, at least same positioning and the flash. You guys can be the judge of which one looks better. I do absolutely love both designs. I would say the product red definitely looks a bit better. So both very, very attractive phones. Now, when it comes to display, I think that's where the biggest differences come in. The iPhone 11 has 6.1 inch, same as the 16, but the resolution it has 1792 times 828 pixels, 22 9 ratio, 324 pixels per inch. It is IPS LCD with 625 nits of brightness. Now, the newest iPhone 16 has the same display, but the resolution is definitely different. 2556 times 1179, 22 9 ratio, 461 pixels per inch. This is a LED display with 2000 nits of brightness. Now, both of these also do have 60 hertz refresh rate. And here is both of them side to side. I think the iPhone 11 display, even though it has much uh, lower resolution, it is also IPS versus OLED, but I think the iPhone 11 still looks amazing to this day. Now, performance-wise, we have, again, big improvements because it does make sense. It's five generations older. So the iPhone 11 has the Apple's A13, while the iPhone 16 has A18. Another difference is four gigabytes of RAM versus eight. Again, all these specs make sense. I mean, this is five-year older phone, but the biggest question when it comes to the hardware and performance, how does it handle day to day how how does iphone 11 work in the 2024 and so far i'm not experiencing any problems it's still a very smooth phone i can still end up playing most of the games if not all the games from the app store i can multitask open pretty much any app i want to so overall performance is still good in 2024 now, when it comes to the battery, the iPhone 11 has 3,100, while the iPhone 16 has 3,561 milliamp. So again, the iPhone 16 will definitely win that battle when it comes to the battery. When it comes to day-to-day -to -day tasks, I'm getting a pretty good iPhone 11 battery life. This is an older phone, and the battery did depreciate quite a lot, but I'm still getting a full day of usage. I'm actually surprised how good the battery life is on the iPhone 11. It could be due to it being IPS, also 720p resolution, but the battery life is still good on the iPhone 11. Now, camera-wise, we have 4 megapixel front-facing camera on both of these. Again, the iPhone 16 will be better in every single way. Now, on the back of both of these, as already mentioned, we have dual cameras. Uh, the iPhone 16 does have 48 megapixel fusion camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, while the iPhone 11 has two 12 megapixel camera. iPhone 11 still takes pretty good solid pictures and videos. It also does 4K recording as well. Honestly, I have no complaints. Now, again, if I'm coming off the iPhone 16 and if I'm doing 
picture is same video as CS, there will be a difference, of course. But since this is very, very budget friendly, and if you come in off a budget friendly Android, um, the iPhone 11 will actually crush those when it comes to the camera and performance. So, so when it comes to using an iPhone 11, it's still been a very pleasurable experience. I don't have any issues, and I would absolutely still recommend that. Thank you guys for watching.